Alrighty, so I think I'll entitle this one something like Batman Returns. Um, so I'm gonna. This is another Jade Mask video, um, but we're gonna be examining the human connections, like I've been discussing these non-organic beings. Um, to various kinds and in this one I'll further describe what these kind in the masks in the mask is um, and how it relates to the human world and your immediate uh, dramas <laughs> so I'll start like showing all these crazy gods so you think what is it like what do they have these gods well they just a lot of the time they represent forces in the universe or specifically on earth um, this although there's a lot of inorganic beings in this uh, mask which can be scary because um, yeah they are dangerous um, so we're going to go over uh, these concepts, uh, principles that emerge while examining this. So in this one you can see um, a very human looking face. Um, the haircut, the bowl cut, uh, South American, the earrings. Um, but in the, in the middle you see the third eye. Um, Yeah, so you can see that. Um, so, when thinking about the third eye, you think, uh, you know, Buddha was all about that too. Um, so if you have a closer examination, you'll see the great masters appear also in the uh, mask. Uh, this one, in between, obviously it's composite. Uh, combined beings, um, beings that are connected to one another through um, various ways uh, in the quantum universe as well. Um, so I want to also start by saying um, these forces can be controlled and although we see alien heads in the mask and a lot of organic beings we know that human awareness in this situation is in control and as I said the third eye you can see an avatar right there a Buddha nice round face um, looks like there's even a bit of a grail and there's Christ I might um, have to do the Christ one just to show so yeah like when it comes to sorcery magic wizardry apart from lay mass ritual magic um, a true sorcerer does control these forces or sources of power through pretty much controlling the self um, I wouldn't be able to do the things I do like I do takes an amount of personal power and storing up power um, to even for your own perception you need you know energy to perceive you need it's all about the power um, so like you might start off hunting crumbs of power to increase your awareness or whatever but um yeah it's uh, it's pretty much self-control in a way, I mean, in the ultimate way. So, yeah, if you think it's just sometimes like you might have a run in with the sorcerer, some dark prick or something, who knows, and like all this crazy shit's going down around you, and like they're not even in the room, maybe, and you know, you know yourself where it's coming from, what its source is. Like, 
you think it's that person is just power alone no it's these things even from the very beginning of creation um, how can we describe this like matrix terms like you know, running programs and um, use things other things to build other things um, and sometimes these programs can go rogue maybe they can become sentient otherwise you wouldn't notice them until they're not doing what they're supposed to do um, <laughs> so yeah um, that's interesting but um, so there's a lot of reptilians get a bit of a bad rep which is fair enough they're pretty fucked up they had that time a lot of things in the past try to cling and become turn into parasites and domineering forces um, but there's always an exception and within every crew it seems like there's the pick of the bunch which get to join the uh, giant family um, so yeah I'm gonna go into the bat I think I've explained myself properly there hopefully um, move this window across if I can maybe I'll move the camera so what we're looking at here is um, the bat god Actually, I might attempt to move it like this. Um, yeah, okay, so I'll go into this. I've outlined some of the hidden geometry in it, like um, it's got dots everywhere where it shows you uh, um, where to make the alignments and like the ivory box you can see the hidden geometry in that it's the same as dots everywhere to, and they, the lines pass through them just like on here I can show you closely those black dots so in the center here some sort of cube I'm sure it's some like um, within the energetic configurations of the planet seems to be these power boxes these small sparks probably one of the center of the earth but um what's interesting about this in the bat gods oh, there's a lot of bats in Australia so um, if you look closely there is a map I mean yeah it's a map of Australia and there's there's the sucker there. There's a line halfway through it. If I was going to do a line from the top, see there's three dots up here, one, two, three. If I was to do a line straight down, the cross section would end up probably smack bang on the rock. And uh, so there's energetic points. You go up here, if you want to go up on the planet, say the next energetic energetic cross sections there I don't know where that would be on the planet it's another power center there's probably another power center up here so this mask will show you the power centers of the planet where these forces are <laughs> and another thing is a lot of abstract storytelling going on like you see the there's two upside down triangles here and this part of Australia, where these fangs are, that they emerge, um, is called the Great Australian Bite, which is about here. As you can see, there's a chunk coming out of it. So that would have been where the waters rose to, it took a bite out of it. Forces, you see. Um, so yeah, and this is another, so we're looking at an X, which is like um, a Cyrus symbol, a god of the underworld himself, just like the bat, 
um, is represented uh, here as well. Uh, a lot of, yeah, if I think if I flip it, you might, you'll see the bat better. So I might do that. I've shown this, shown this before anyway. There's the back guard. You can have a look at my other videos for better or different alignments or whatever. So I'm not going to go further into much of what um, I've seen or what I know from analysing these, but I can tell you that uh, Quetzalcoatl, Lord Pakal, was um, most probably an incarnation of one of these feathered serpent dudes. Uh, you know, Vera coaches, I think he's related. There's certain elements and principles that emerge from the artifacts that specifically are akin to this crew and it seems like there's elements that will expose uh, I don't know anything from biblical stuff to like this is global these things are embedded in the earth they are a part of it they can't be separated they can't be ignored um, you just have to deal with it um, so I can't think of anything else I want to say other than yeah deal with it <laughs> but yeah don't make any psycho contracts or anything I mean you know you know what we're dealing here with like be careful be very careful